Assalamu alaikum, everyone. My name is Amina Badhumi. I'm the acting executive director of the Ohio chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations. What a beautiful gathering. What a beautiful gathering for a beautiful soul. Imam Muhammad died. And but our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, has taught us when you pass away, you leave behind three things. One, sustainable charity. Imam Muhammad, there is not one person in need that was around him or a cause or a project which he did not either contribute or bring people in to contribute to. I met beautiful family members and extended family members over the course of days. I did not have the pleasure to know Imam Muhammad really well, but I've learned so many beautiful things about him. And one thing that we know is that he leaves behind a sustainable charity. I'm going to put a plug for a Launch Good campaign that his children have put together, launchgood.com backslash M, M for Muhammad, H for Hassan, and then A for Adam. M H A. And if you go there, you're able to contribute to sustain this legacy of his because these are rewards that he continues to have even if he's not with us. The second thing that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that someone who dies leaves behind is knowledge that is perpetual. Along the course of just a week, I've met so many of his students and so many individuals that he's taught. What they carry on is a legacy of his. He leaves, he, he lives in every single one of them and the knowledge that he passed on, whether it be knowledge of Quran, knowledge of mentorship, knowledge of how to just live your, your life as a good citizen. That is something he passes on and gets rewarded for every moment you make those good choices. And, he, and another thing that is left behind are children that continue to say prayers. And what I've learned along the way is that there is the family, the immediate family, and then there's the focus family. And I think everyone that stands here today understands that he was part of their family and that we're all at some capacity going to make dua for him. And that is the kind of legacy he lives on. And that is the kind of beautiful person he was. And I'll say this, we march peacefully. We're here to show the city that this is a man that is special to us, that is loved. It is not okay to murder a black immigrant Somali, visibly Muslim man and get away with it. We march peacefully but we also are ready at a moment's notice if anything does not go the way that it should, that we will hold those accountable. And everybody here knows this. No one's speaking up because we want to be able to have his legacy live on. But at a moment's notice, we are ready. And there are hundreds and thousands of others that don't stand here today across the country and across the world that we know will do the same. And so we just want to be able to say that loud and clear in case it is not. Thank you.